What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do a little bit of uh, just painting, just experimenting. I think today what I want to do is just uh, try out something that one of my uh, one of my viewers left a comment. Uh, to try using the spray can paint into the spray gun and spray that over the fender. And uh, you know, just to get a better, you know, when you spray it, the spray gun can like leave a nice fat uh, pattern. And the spray can only does like this little circle or so. So instead of leaving a, a lot of tiger stripe, uh, just put it in a spray gun and we'll use the spray gun to spray the paint. All right, so this is the fender we're gonna use. Uh, this was the seaside blue with, uh, I believe it was a uh, Okinawa pearl. And it still ha has like a beautiful blue effect. Uh, some, like the camera doesn't do it justice. I know it just shows like a blue, but um, yeah. So I already have the soap water ready and I'm gonna just go ahead and sand it real quick with some 600 grit um, just to clean out the surface and uh, get it ready for some base coat. Check this out. So today I was going to use some black and, you know, throw a black base, but I decided on using the True Navy. This is ultra matte finish. I still have some in here. Uh, so it's a set, uh, matte finish and that's the color True Navy. So it's still kind of like a dark base. You know, it's not black, but it's pretty dark. And I was thinking of using some of this Izomi blue. This is by Eye Candy Pigments. Uh, so this is a pearl. Let me take this out into the light. So, so this is um, this is not a color shift. This is not a color shift. This is just a basic pearl, uh, but it is called Izomi Blue. Yeah, look at that. So there's some colors that go very nicely with a black base, and then there's some colors that you know go nicely over a similar colored base uh, like the Senshi Red that we tried that one goes very nice over the black base but it also goes nice over a red base as well uh, Izomi Blue should be about the same since we have a dark color uh, it will go nice either on black or on this True Navy but um, let's go ahead and get things uh, things going I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I already have the fender sanded so let's go ahead and just spray some of this uh, into our spray gun all right and this is the spray gun that I'm using this is the uh, this is the spectrum it's the HTE high transfer efficiency it has a 1.3 tip and uh, this one's from Harbor Freight I have the 3M airflow uh, control valve and uh, you know I highly recommend this gun you know it's a pretty cheap gun uh, found at Harbor Freight but you know I had the PPE on installed uh, over the weekend I did a job a client brought me a car uh, with the damaged bumper some neighbors dogs you know were chasing a cat and damaged the bumper you know over to the fender as well and uh, I did a repair where I uh, fixed the plastic bumper and the corner of the fender did some uh, work with the hammer and dolly straightened it out a little bit of uh, body filler just a skim coat on the metal on the fender and I actually didn't use any uh, body filler on the bumper I used some plastic filler the JB weld plastic filler I was using it as a panel bond to adhere some extra plastic from behind but I also used it to cover some of the uh, dog uh, bite marks as well the job came out really perfect I sanded their headlights as well 
and um, you know gave them a fresh coat of clear. Uh, I used some inner coat to blend the two panels together with the original color, the iridium. Um, and the whole job came out just fantastic. A huge shout out to the Spectrum. You know, like it's just an awesome gun and I do highly recommend it. I already shaked up the can or shook the can. Um, we're just going to spray some in here. The cap has a filter on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and just spray as much as we can. Let the wind pass. Oh, it's going to paint my finger. It looks like we got a decent amount of paint in there that was but like there was more inside the can but that that'll do <laughs> so then we'll put the filter on it and the screw cap and then we'll just set this one in here and twist it to lock Ready? Alright, let's go. All right, guys, so definitely felt like there was a little bit of paint, you know, than what was felt. Maybe whatever overspray was coming out as I was spraying it in the cup. But that was just enough to do one coat, and I guess that's what I was expecting, at least one full coat. Normally, that's about it with the Rust-Oleum. Look at that finish, though. Just very nice. And the way it sprayed, just a big fan. You know, and that was just like, just quick enough. I didn't even get uh, a feel for it. Just, let's just get up and paint. But it just came out very nice. You know, it takes like a uh, midway down the card. So you can start getting the feel for the flow of the paint and, you know, get yourself in the, in the right uh, rhythm. But uh, this was just a quick fender. The paint sprayed out nicely. Rustoleum, and I've sprayed clear coat over Rustoleum. It does well. Here, no tiger striping. It is a ultra matte, so right now it's glossy. But uh, give it a few more minutes, and you'll see right here on top, it's drying, so it becomes a matte finish. But let's go ahead and let this uh, dry, and then we'll come back, take a look at it, and then we'll continue with some uh, pearls. Okay, so for the Izomi. Uh, pearls um, there's several ways that you can spray this you can add it directly onto your clear coat um, and you know I've done that before you know this is a platinum clear I found it on eBay pretty cheap mix this on a 4 to 1 with the activator and uh, you know I, I've used this on the test fenders and it's actually been pretty good so I do recommend this one um, so you can add this onto your clear the only, the only thing is, if you get a run, you're going to have pearls in that run. So when it comes down to sanding, you might still see that run. Uh, as if to where, if you were to use an inner coat, like over here we have a, this is a gallon of inner coat by Auto Paint HQ. So they have a eBay page. They also have a website where you can find this. So this is an inner coat clear. It's just like a base coat. It's not a clear coat. It's just like a base coat. 
uh, just no color. So, you know, and this one, you have got enough um, the inner coat and the kit also comes with a gallon of reducer. So basically you have two gallons of inner coat to spray and you know, it reduces one to one. So whatever amount you're gonna use on your test fenders, uh, one to one. All right, well, we don't need 12 ounces for a single test fender, but we can say we didn't have enough to do a few extra coats. Uh, now, here's the Izomi blue. Um, one of these, just moderately filled, <laughs> just like that, uh, is about a gram. You know, make a full gram. Um, we're gonna just do four. That's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. And then we'll get our little mixer. Let's use this. Look at that color. So this can be sprayed like over a black base would be beautiful. You'll get this this beautiful Izomi blue. Um, we're spraying it over the True Navy, which is still a dark base and it's blue. So we'll still get a very nice uh, blue effect, a blue color. All right, so here's the test fender with the Rust-Oleum True Navy. Instead of uh, spraying it with the rattle can, we poured it into the spray gun and we sprayed it and now we have a beautiful surface. That's a beautiful finish. So now let's go ahead and uh, add the Izomi Blue. Alright, one other thing, once you unhook your air supply, uh, flip the gun upside down and just squeeze on the trigger. Uh, this inside cup, it's pretty soft, so when you're spraying, it doesn't have a, you know, a vent hole. So what it does, it just, it just uh, starts crinkling up. Uh, so when you're done spraying the first coat or whatever, just unhook it up. Unhook your air supply, squeeze the trigger so it allows the air to back up in here and just expand the cup to its original shape. Alright, even though we already sprayed the first coat, coats are matte black.
All right, I'm gonna give it its third and final coat just to finish off whatever I have in the spray gun. And we'll go from there, we'll continue with the clear coat again. and just finally the clear coat. Alright, that's our first coat of clear. Very nice. And as far as the colors go, I think they both look about the same. Or the black base or the true navy. Um, if I'm missing something, uh, you guys let me know. But overall, it's a beautiful color, the blue. What came out from the true navy.
all right guys so this is the color Izomi blue by eye candy pigments and um, so yeah right here this is over the true navy by rustoleum this was the base coat that we used check it out and on the bottom right here i went ahead and sprayed some black and you know at certain angles it does look about the same color but then you look at it and it's darker of course and in the shadows it does turn like into a black from the color to a black uh, now right here we're kind of in the shade so let me pull this vendor out into more of a direct sunlight so we can see the color the izomi and then over here with the black base so all right so here's the fender in direct sunlight it's very very nice uh the clear coat stretched out very nice and this is a cheap uh, budget clear coat from ebay so it stretched out very nice the color very beautiful the izomi this is um right here it's over the blue true navy actually so it's still kind of like a dark base so if you look at it from a different angle it'll still tur turn dark if you spray this over like a lighter blue seaside or just something lighter blue you might get a different effect as we can see down here with the black base so mostly turns really really dark and then with direct sunlight turns blue we can kind of follow the sun I hope you guys can see I'm out of uh, but um, yeah it still turns blue beautiful colors beautiful products like just uh, just awesome results so all right guys so that is going to be it for today's video if you guys enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already uh, and stay tuned to the channel I am going to be working with more uh, pigments like not only basic pearls like these but also I have a few more color shift pearls that I need to show you guys. Not only that, I got a fresh package of ultra shift pearls. So there's a difference between the color shift and the ultra shift. They're both color changing, but the color shift being a combination of the mica and iron oxide compared to the ultra shift, uh, they're mostly aluminum and iron. Uh, and they require much less of the pigments to give you a bright and potent ultra shift color. Uh, very beautiful colors indeed but uh, stay tuned to the channel and uh, that's going to be it for today i hope to see you guys on the next one peace out